Alright, what's up guys? This is just a PL game I played the other day. Uh, 6.84C, I believe, is the patch. So, I'm just going to kind of skip through the, the whole preliminary everybody pick champions. Disruptor. So, hope the other players remember the pack and brought raised like lightning in a bottle. Now to break it open. Thirty seconds to go. So I go into the uh, to the off lane with. I think all of us can. Fucking Lich, Lich and I, we grabbed the rune. PA for some reason came all the way down there. I'm pretty sure we also told her in, when we were selecting heroes that she was going to be with Disruptor, but I guess she didn't pay attention. So we're gonna we're gonna speed through a lot of this though because a lot of it's just like nonsensical things like early game like I got some like they actually let me hit creeps which is really weird like they should just be denying all the creeps but they don't seem to give a shit so basic lane shit making sure I don't take too much damage Lich on the other hand trading a lot of his HP I got worked right there so the ho ho ha ha this patch everybody says sniper got gutted but this patch he he isn't that, like, super hard carry anymore. Like, he's not like, it's not like, oh, well, we have Sniper, so just wait 50 minutes and nobody can win, because he'll anally eviscerate all your supports from outside of everyone else's attack range. So, I die here, and we're going to go back and check this out, because this is, like, really lazy. Okay, so notice how Lich has, like, half his HP. He walks up into the wave to Q fucking Dazzle, and eats like three or four poison touches in a row, and then I come along, knowing he is level two with the heal, and I'm just like, don't worry, you don't work this guy. JK, I didn't work him. Sniper got off like a single headshot or two and killed me. So we die. Then we come back to lane. You know, I'm gonna go Aquila in this game. I believe I go Aquila, and then uh, I go Aquila, Diffusal Drums, and then Immediate Boots of Travel. So I can be just all over the map pushing and farming. And drums are really helpful for pushing and farming. Sorry, I'm scratching my nose. It's itchy. Uh, yeah, drums are super helpful for early pushing and farming. Because you can give the drums buff to your, to your fucking illusions. Which will up their attack speed. Which they don't do a lot of damage. But everything does more damage if it's hitting you more often than normal. So, still great. Basic lane shit. Once again. Da -da 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 and here we go. They go in on us. Lich doesn't get snip snapped. He just instead gets away with no HP. I'm chilling here trying to soak XP. Like right now, it's not terribly important that I. Uh, it's not terribly important that I kill creeps right now. It's more important that I stay alive, because Lich is gone. So, like, if I get creeps and I die, it's not really worth. But, this shit coming up, and then they're kill the creeps under turret, miss one, because I've just been auto-attacking them randomly. And... So, use the clarity, walk around the side, make sure I'm not getting ganked. Like, with Phantom Lancer, it's okay to walk around like that, because Pudge, if he was over there, would have to have really fast reaction time to hook me, and even then, I was ready, like, I was already ready to doppelganger out over into the low ground, which would have dodged the hook, and it would have made it so he couldn't chase me with any of his other skills. So, Bigfoot getting worked over here. He's about to walk up and die again, I believe. Bigfoot's my homie. Sometimes, though, we be struggling when we lane together. Sometimes we be struggling. I always say HP is a resource, and he always takes me way too literally. He's like, yo, I will spend a quarter of my HP to deal less than a quarter of their HP. So pretty soon, we're going to get a gank by Invoker. He's gonna come down through the jungle, like, notice he's coming down. This is actually a really good path for Invoker, because if he meets Pudge over there, we can kill Pudge, and if not, basically, they don't notice he's coming. Bam! Easy ganks, easy life. 
I don't have enough to do anything. He missed the tornado, but he doesn't have a TP, so... Well, I guess he did have a TP, he just waited to start charging it. Because we don't have any way of stopping TP after Invoker misses Tornado. I mean, I guess Cold Snap, but I didn't even think he had Cold Snap. We were in Skype, and I was like, do you have Cold Snap? And he was like, no, man, I don't have Cold Snap. But that's okay, because that EMP was really good. Stop them from heal bombing us, which is really nice. Alright, so back to lane. I started working on a diffusal blade. I bought the mana first, or the intelligence first, so I can get a little bit more mana regen and a little bit more mana. The mana regen, I'm pretty sure, is negligible. Okay, the replay client is fucked up, so I can't look at my int, but whatever. So, we go here, and I'm quick flash hop because uh, I thought they were in trouble or something. They seem to be getting worked a lot by Razor and shit. So then, just last hit and last hit. I leave that illusion there because I don't want to push the lane too hard. Like, I was already pushing the lane, but I didn't want to, like, nuke the wave with all my illusions. Because I have a level in juxtapose, which means that... It doesn't mean that I'm always going to be spawning more illusions, but it means that my illusions do have the chance to spawn illusions and push really hard. Alright, so where are we at? So, yeah, now, come up. If I don't get this creep, I'm crying. Okay, yeah, I killed it. I was gonna say, that creep was alone. He wasn't even getting denied. Alright, so, boom. 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 And... We're just sitting at turret. And he dies. He gets snip-snapped. There's not really much I can do about it. However, what's coming up is legendary. So... Oh, look at this shit. Boop. Dodged. Dodged, bitch. Dodged. Anyways. Go back to that player perspective. Speed this shit back up. I'm just waiting. Pretty soon they take our turret. I believe I die again before they take before they take our turret. Early game was not very good this game. Like twelve minutes in, don't have diffusal or anything. Still just working on it. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. This is this is like classic trench tier play right here. So we literally see Pudge come up and use an illusion here. And so like I walk over, I doppelganger, and I get away. Like, I get away. Like, this isn't even the bad part. Like, we kill Dazzle, we don't kill Sniper. Or maybe we do kill him. I'm ready- no, 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 we don't kill him, because Pudge uses the tornado to line up his hook, so I didn't Spirit Lance him in time. This is, like, where it gets bad. This is where it goes bad. So, I'm sitting here. These Travnals. I walk back here. That's like a classic pub trench move right there. Just walk behind the turret, see if you can get some vision on them. We know this is an illusion, so they have no reason to leave. So, we're pushing, we're pushing. I walk back here, and then... I walk around into the side shop, because I'm like, oh, well there's no way Sniper can take me one on one. Forgetting that Dazzle was here, and then Pudge just happened to be there, so we died. Like, that's a classic. Like, I should have just escaped. Like, I, you can walk outside of the trees over here by the secret shop. You can walk back to your turret. So we lose our turret. Like, Lich denies it, which is really nice. Storm Spirit, doing Storm Spirit things. On the top. I'm gonna walk over here and say, bitch, no, you didn't. Bitch, you guessed it. He gets crit. Last hit crit by fucking PA. And Storm Spirit is in fucking dire straits. Because he used all his mana to dive and it didn't work out. Pudge hooked him, but this time I had Spirit Rush illusions on him. Phantom Rush illusions on him. Because Phantom Rush, too good. Like, too good. Close all those gaps. Like, we'll even go back. I'll even go back and look at that. Because, like, that's why it's super important to hit, to land all your spells on PL. So, like, so freaking real. Go back. Die so look at this guy. He's like, yeah! Yeah! Boom. He's getting worked. He gets hooked. 
That guy literally comes up and kills him. It was great. Player perspectives. And so keep going. Keep going. The die just is home. Tower. Deny our top turret. So we, we've been bleeding turrets this game a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine because I'm like 700 gold from a defusal. And this, this is like classic Phantom Lancer shit. Literally doppelganger to dodge the hook. So we go in here and I'm just working this guy. I'm just working this dazzle. He's like, what? And then Pudge is like, what the hell? And I just, I stood there for some reason, but I, I get away. Like, they don't catch me. I get away. I have, like, level rank 3 out of 4. Lich ulti almost kills two people on their team. It was a great fight. It was a great fight. Player perspective. So basically, I run. All I'm really concerned about is me, because it's about Phantom Blade 2. Like, my team is doing well this game. They didn't... Uh, Pudge gets tickled by a Sunstrike. And dies for it, pays dearly with his life. So right now, I'm like, okay, I'm 300 gold from Diffusal. I just need to get my Diffusal up, and then start pulling shenanigans all over the place. So, I literally just come, and I start going on the top turret, and then Pudge comes here, and then I make him turn around, even though I don't have Diffusal, so I can't kill him. He sees me doppelganger, and he gets scared. Somebody's How about that? He he's probably scared though because he keeps seeing he like whenever say whenever I've doppelgangered so far, I've either escaped or done a shitload of damage afterwards. Like trying to man fight Storm Spirit without defusal, bad move, bad fucking move. That's four. So yeah, disruptor goes on a mega kill streak. Uh, alright, so we got that shit. We got our defusal now. Which means that now you can kill anybody. You're approaching, like, critical mass at this point. Like, I'm gonna pick up a drums next. That's my favorite Phantom Lancer build, actually, is the drums. Technical difficulty. The couldn't... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Oh. So, I'm like, I need to start working on the drums. <laughs> CPA. Farming up these creeps. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to help you push right quick. Take two of her creeps and then leave. <laughs> At this point, I can kill anybody on the map. With, if, if I run into them, I can kill them. If they run into me, I can get away and deal a lot of damage. However, shit like that is bad. So, alright, yeah, so we gotta back up, so. Somebody Dazzle made the mistake of getting too close, I didn't even use a defusal charge, just defusal illusions. Regeneration. So, I'm moving towards, moving towards the top. Mostly for the jungle cramps, because I've almost got a drum. I'm like 200, like 50 gold from a drum. So... I'm just letting our Dazzle pretty much gives up, cause, but Pudge builds Dagon, which is actually super helpful this game, because it gives him a, it gives him burst damage on top of hooks. Like, there's a point later where I literally just get Dagon hooked and I die immediately. So Storm Spirit, forgetting what it's like to get worked. Meanwhile, the Lich ulti tears everybody apart. Use my drums to speed up my team. We're not going to get this guy, though. I didn't have any illusions. If I had had illusions at the start of that, like, if I'd used... I didn't have Doppelganger, so I think I used it at the very end. <laughs> but had I had illusions to, to start working on Pudge and then use drums, we would have killed him. But... Eh. It was lucky by Pudge that he had a... It was actually a good play because he had a TP. If he didn't have a TP, he would have died because I would have just defusal slowed him. So we're still looking good on drum charges and defusal charges. I think I go pick up. I think about a mango. Mangoes are OP. Invisibility. 
So I go down here with my enemies room. I see Dazzle. And I just kill Dazzle. And I get a salve for myself. Drop my boots, pick up a salve. However, the salve is not at all worth because I got it turned off in like two seconds. I literally walk up here and hit a, hit a creep and get hit back and it turns off my fucking salve. I'm just pushing bottom while Pudge is doing Pudge things elsewhere. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. I take that turret a lot. I'm not actually very good at this game, to be honest. I just thought Trouble this was a good game. Radiant's bottom so I give some insight. No breaking down the radiant on what my thoughts like were, because I've had multiple PL games that go like just like this. Like you just get your items at a decent time, even as as long as make sure that the laning phase is salvageable. Like don't lose too hard. And now I start going race car. Like now I start going race car. I've got. My drums, I've got my Aquila, I've got my Diffusal, so I've got all my fighting items, more or less. Like, there's only one more fighting item I need, and it's Yasha. So, and then I'll be the truest race car of them all. And I TP out before even getting full HP, because I'm like, my team needs me! But this Disruptor fucking glimpsed uh, Storm Spirit out, and then, notice, we run in here, and I'm like, yo dude, I'm going in. <laughs> Like, I don't care if you guys aren't going in. I'm fucking up this razor. Get back here, bitch. I even use a defusal charge on him because I'm like, dude, you're done. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit thinks he's getting out. I start walking up just in case he has, like, Soul Ring. Or no, that's not even Storm. That's fucking Dazzle. So, I kill Dazzle. So, mm, kill Dazzle, make my illusions work that turret while I just run away. At this point, I'm like, yo, I have a lot of money, I'm really strong. Well, I don't have a lot of money anymore, I spent my money, but I have Boots of Travel. Boots of Travel are so good on PO, because one thing you need to do to make sure fights turn out in your favor all the time is push the lands. So, like, I don't even give a shit that Pudge is, like, kind of fucking my team whenever I'm not there. Because I'm making sure all the lanes get pushed. And as long as they get pushed, that means that I'm getting... As long as I'm the one pushing them, too, I have tons of shit that I can deal with that. Like, I can make money to get illusions and stuff. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth every day till Sunday. So, um, so now I've got, like, 448 move speed. I'm fucking race car right now. This is where it gets dumb, though. This is where we walk into Pudge, and I literally get Dagon ulted. Literally got Dagon ulted and died. Like, just because of how bad that was, we could watch that shit again. So, I literally walk over here to Pudge. I'm like, oh, this dude doesn't know what's going to hit him. And then he's like, well, 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 you're fucked. Literally die. I literally feed that guy 1,300 gold for killing my streak. I mean, the comeback gold is real, what can I say? So, we're gonna skip ahead. So, bag of life, TV bottom. Just start working this shit. Oh, in this game, I believe I go heart, because I thought I was really afraid of that Dagon. See, my team is winning team fights even when I don't show up immediately. Like, Storm Spirit, it works. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, so yeah. Getting worked. Radiant's mid tower's coming apart. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Let's see Pudge, and I want to kill him because he has a lot of gold. But then I see Storm Spirit. And then I see Sniper. And then I see Dazzle. Okay, this is this is like this is one for the fails though. We're gonna we're gonna see that again because that shit that shit was so dumb, like literally so dumb. So like, look at this, literally tanking creeps and they kill me. 
was in bad shape. <laughs> he gets 400 gold because the creeps killed me. <laughs> uh, pro tip, buy life steal or some shit. Radiance mid rack. Radiance mid There goes the Radiance mid rack. So. Oh, I'm <laughs> uh, Literally wrecking stuff now. I don't think I. This is still Diffusal 1 because I have charges left. Uh, upgrading to Diffusal 2, in my opinion, it's 15 agility, 4 int. It's it's okay, but I only like to do it when I run out of charges. I don't think it's worth to do before you run out of charges, unless, like, unless you have, like, one charge left, and you know you're gonna need more than one charge in the next fight. Right now, I don't need really any charges, and I got a Reaver, so my, my HP is really nice. My HP is going places. And Dazzle tells me to end the game, so I just start massacring their turrets. I'm like 90% sure though I build the fucking heart though. So I just start hammering on their turrets. See that's the power of the drum though. The drum gives you bonus attack speed and move speed, which is really nice. Razor, he mm, should have thought about that shit a second time. So I just take their top barracks. I'm like, what am I gonna buy? Oh, I bought a heart. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, I need. Okay, yeah. Then he starts talking shit on the USA. So I need to. Uh, I feel like I need to represent for the USA. So I TP in the bottom. He's like, burn America. And I'm like, yo, America's about to work you. Get Americanized. Get colonized. So I dodge another punch hook. Because I was like, yeah, dog, what's good? Whenever there's a pudge, you always want to... It doesn't take a lot of micro, either. You can usually do it just by walking back and forth in place if you have an illusion-based hero. You want to make sure that your illusions are on one side of you and the creeps are on the other, or illusions all around you. That, that'll lower your chances of getting hooked, because he'll have to pull, like, hardcore shenanigans. So, I just... TV top, and then he starts talking shit on England. I'm glad he didn't say anything about Mother Russia, Liat. So I'm like, yo, dude... You talking a lot of you talking all that good shit. What's good, bro? What's good? Yeah, your storm spirit couldn't help you. And then I'm like, oh no, it's storm spirit. Somebody's on a roll. It's double. I start hunting. I start looking for more dudes. He <laughs> dismembers a fucking illusion. Let's let's go back for that. This is redemption for the. Uh, Redemption for the Dagon kill. Dazzle shallow graves himself early. Sniper pays the price. I'm just like, yo, Dazzle. And Invoker tries to kill me. We rampage them, and then we leave. Well, not even we. I rampage them. And then I'm pretty sure I get a score screen, Scotty. Like, it's not in my inventory, it's just on the courier. Oh man, Slava Ukraine. But basically, VO, that's the build right there. You can go drums before defusal, depending on how necessary the defusal is. Like, I was behind, so. Oh, Charm of the Crucible Jewel, what a, what a good guy. But, um, I was behind, so I needed the defusal, because the defusal actually gives you a lot of damage. But if you're already ahead and you have money, then, uh, yeah, go ahead, go with the drums first, because it'll give you the bonus attack speed, but that's a PL game.